Here I'm going to show you the hamburger. This is the one that you do after you've gotten all of the cube except these bottom edge pieces. That's all that's left. And when you're doing the hamburger, you do it only if this side is not completely yellow. If this side is completely yellow, you skip the hamburger altogether and you move on to the cheeseburger, which I'll show you next. But this side is not completely yellow. You can see we have two pieces, an orange and a blue, that are not yellow. Sometimes you'll have two pieces that are next to each other. Sometimes you'll have two that are across. Sometimes you'll have four. But anytime any piece is not yellow, you do the hamburger. Now, unless you have two that are next to each other, it doesn't matter how you hold it or which side is, is where. But you hold it always like you're holding a hamburger with fingers on top and on the bottom and you're holding this edge fixed and you do the same on the other side. So this edge is free and you're also not touching the middle so you make sure the middle is free to move. Those are the sides you're working with. This at the middle and the bottom which is now the top. So the hamburger is a combination of two things, rotating this top all the way around and moving the middle back and forth. That's it. It's repetitive. You do one, then you do the other. To do the hamburger, first you move the middle, then you rotate the top. You move the middle back, you rotate the top. Move the middle up, rotate the top. Move the middle back, rotate the top. Move the middle up, rotate the top. Move the middle back, rotate the top. Now you know you're done when the white side opposite looks correct, which it does in this case. You also know you're done, um, you can sometimes tell you're done, because whenever you're done there should either be all yellow or only two or only four that are not yellow. And Really, if you're when you're doing the move correctly, you should never end up with only four that are yellow. If you're doing that, that means that you started with the wrong way. But you don't have to worry about that yet. So once you're done, you realign these pieces. Now you can see we've still got two that are uh, that are not yellow. So this is how you know which way to do the hamburger. When you've got two that are next to each other, you want those on the upper right hand corner. If you don't have two that are next to each other, it doesn't matter. But as long as you have two that are next to each other, you want them to be in the upper right hand corner. Now if you mess up, it's not that big a deal. It'll just get you back, it'll set you back one move. You'll have to do the hamburger two more times instead of being done. But if you have these in the upper right hand corner and you do the hamburger, you know that it's gonna work. So you bring the middle up and then you rotate it. Now, if you lose your place, you can remember, if this is not yellow, you need to make it yellow. And then you rotate it again. If this is yellow, you need to take the yellow away. And then you rotate it again. And that's how you can remember if you get confused. Now you look at the bottom, you can see that's not solved. That's how you know that you're not done. So if this is not yellow, we bring the yellow back, rotate it again. Take the yellow away, rotate it again. Bring the yellow back, check and see. Oh, that bottom is solved now. And now we can rotate this into place. And we can see now this entire side is yellow, but some of these edges are still not correct.